it's such a wonderful film, and but it's also got that improvisational feel. What was the last cut you made? The last thing you took out that you were like, oh, I don't want to take it out, but I gotta take it out for time. Okay, it goes. Well, first I want to correct the notion of improvisation, which Cooper himself would come here and talk to you about. You can't make a film that's that complicated and improvise it. You, you write every scene many times, and then you may change the writing on the day, but the scene has to have a structure. It's very kind. There's five major characters, three or four secondary characters. It's, it's you got to write it. Um, the thing, some things that came out that broke our heart, because um, there's a lot of things that go in and out and in and out. But do you guys remember? Microwave. What? Oh, yeah. the microwave. What happened with the microwave? Oh, they had a, I mean, uh, Christian oh, Bale yeah. and Jeremy Renner had some wonderful scenes together that were very difficult to cut out. Uh, they, where they tried to get legitimate financing, and I want to put them on the DVD because they're just fantastic scenes, where, where Irving is actually trying to get legitimate financing for them because he feels so bad. And, um, and all Carmine wants to know is if, if, if Rosalind put metal in the microwave, which he would take as a bad sign. Um, which it is. It is a bad, bad sign. <laughs> it's, it's a bad omen because he's about to go to jail. So anyway, that was that was a hard scene to take out. Um, there's so much great footage with these actors. It's, a, it's 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 an embarrassment of riches. So you 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 push them and you and you write as much as you can and then you have to pick. You know. And I I believe the movie should move fast. My greatest compliment is from uh, John Petroselli, who runs a construction company in Long Island. He said that went by in 15 minutes, and I wanted to spend more time with the characters. That's what we try to do, is feel emotion and enchantment and make it go before you can look back. So I, all these guys are in the edit room with us, as well as Bradley Cooper, and um, any actors welcome in there to, to chime in, and it's a collaborative process. And now I will stop talking. All the way to your uh, right, guys. First off, congratulate away to the right, right here, yeah. Hi. Uh, congratulations. Did you know going into it that this had a lot of award season buzz? Well, you know, we... We actually were just really um, focused on getting the movie shot and then getting the movie edited. We had a very short period of time to prepare, make it, and finish it. And so we just kept our head down and, and uh, tried to do the best that we can. And we're really you know, completely thrilled that it's been embraced by you know, critics and people, and, and, and we're very humbled by it, and, and, but thrilled. <laughs> That's hard to compete with that guy. Where's the handsome guy who just came in? I want to say I loved working with Leo. He made this movie be what it could be. <laughs> but another question for us, amazing, with Leo in the room. Go, what is it? Yes. My mother was a very powerful person. She's an Italian-American woman from Brooklyn. And uh, she was one of my greatest teachers, uh, and God rest her soul. And uh, I realized with the fighter, that who I based much of what I had experienced with my mother, that uh, Melissa Leo and Amy Adams, strong women characters are the gateway to a very powerful movie. And I did that again in Silver Linings, and then here in American Hustle, I wrote the roles for Jennifer and Amy, as I did for Christian and Bradley and, and Jeremy and Bob De Niro and Louis C.K. You write the roles for all those people. That makes me try harder, and then that makes them try harder. So it's a, it's a beautiful process to be part of, and we're blessed to be part of it. I don't know nothing about that. Is that true? It's entered as a drama? <laughs> Was that, did that ever happen? I don't know. Listen to me. I make movies that are... Uh, my first movie was, like, I thought a very intense movie about a... a, a hi. A st stuff at home that was the, the dark movie, and it was put in the comedy section after it won Sunday and Spanking the Monkey. So I implicitly find human beings, if they're real, heartbreaking but also funny. That's just how my own relatives, everybody I know, that's how I find human beings. So I'm, I'm happy to just, it goes either way, you know. Um, sometimes the most heartbreaking things are the funniest things. For breaking entertainment news and more, follow at HitBix on Twitter or visit hitbix.com.